Hi, welcome to another day of my journal. Today is Are You OK Day? So I thought I'd talk about that and my experiences of my mental health. I don't really remember before I was a young adult, um, as far as my mental health is concerned, but in my adult years, I've, I've always constantly battled with my mental health. Um, it's not constant. It comes and goes. It's definitely nowhere near as dramatic as it was once upon a time. In my 20s and 30s, it was a lot worse. Um, and I guess back then, nobody talked about it. So you pretty much struggled through on your own. And sometimes I was way down in that black hole. But I think what pulled me through was my children because I would always think about them and I could not leave them without their mum. So pretty um, deep, but it's my journal and I want to be honest in it always. By the time I was in my 40s, um, the internet come around and I was able to Google a lot of stuff and there was so much information on there about mental illness, but there still wasn't a great many places you could go. You could go to the doctors, they'd put you on depression tablets. That just wasn't for me. I was not interested in going down that route unless it was an absolute have to. And that's just me personally. Other people do need to go down that route. And for them, I say, you know what? If that is what works best, that's what you need to be doing. But for me, I read a lot about diet and exercise. So I decided to take that route. And oh my God, it definitely made a difference. Throughout my 40s and 50s, um, right up until today, I still struggle from time to time, but it is nothing like it used to be. I can pretty much deal with it now. I realise that for me, I need to slow down and smell the roses. Part of my problem was I was always a perfectionist. So... I would get so overwhelmed in the details that I would just start to plummet. These days, I don't need to have everything perfect. Like, if if it's done, it's done. It doesn't need to be done perfect. There's always room for improvement, and that's the way I like it now. This year, when I could feel myself heading downhill, I went out into the desert. Um... And that was just so good. I spent a few weeks out there on my own, traveling around, barely saw another soul. I was just out there with nature and it just centered me. I just absolutely loved that. I got back into eating properly, sleeping properly, um, exercising, walking, and I could feel myself feeling so much better. These days, I'm good. I, I'm not having any problems at the moment, but I have learned to slow down, like I said, and I have learned to not have to have everything perfect. I'm okay with not being perfect. I have people I can talk to now if I start to feel down. And there are so many resources out there. Even just my workplace, we have a program called the Healthy Minds Program. My employer employs thousands of people and a lot of those people have decided to become Healthy Minds advocates. So they do the course and then if anybody is struggling, they can ring them. And because there's thousands of people, you don't even have to ring somebody that you know. You can ring a total stranger, have a chat to them. They'll, they're there to listen. They're there to guide you to what is the best resources for your case and get you the help that you need. Or just be there as a shoulder to lean on if you need it. I think all workplaces, big and small, should have something like that. 
And for people who don't work, there are so many resources out there now. There's so many different hotlines and doctors who specialise and, and counsellors. There's just so much more now than there has ever been. So if you're suffering with your mental health, speak to somebody. Speak to a stranger, speak to a friend, but talk to somebody, especially men. Because men think it's shameful, they're embarrassed by it, they think it makes them weak. So not true. Everybody suffers from mental stress at one stage or another. There is nothing wrong with saying, I'm not okay, and seeking some help. So do it anonymously if you must. That's fine. Though people aren't there to judge, people are there to give you a shoulder to lean on. So on this Are You OK Day, ask people, but ask them genuinely. Don't just walk up and say, you OK? Really actually put your heart into it. And if you've got single neighbours or single people that you know at work, just ask them the question, are you OK? Are you doing fine? Is there anything I can help you with? look after each other we all need a helping hand from time to time well that's my journal entry for today so be happy and smile at a stranger